What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I'm going to walk you through a full back workout and you're only going to need dumbbells and it's going to be focusing on all the different areas of the back. It's going to be focusing on a range of different exercises but it's going to be quick. You're not going to need any kind of equipment and I'm going to take you step by step through form on every single one of them. So let's roll that intro. All right, like I said in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a back workout. Now, a lot of back workouts, you need either a pull-up bar or a pull-back machine or a rowing machine or a rowing cable or whatever it might be. This back workout is gonna consist of just dumbbells and we're gonna be using them in five different ways. So five different exercises, all with dumbbells so that you can do this from the comfort of your own home with a set of dumbbells or if you're on the road and traveling and only have access to a hotel gym, you can do it from there as well. So it's really gonna just open up your, your options for whenever you're traveling or just wanna switch up your, exercise, your workout. I myself do this workout sometimes when I just wanna switch it up or get a quick workout in or maybe the gym is busy and you don't really wanna go wait for a machine. So this is gonna help you out with that. Now I will say before I get into this workout, um, if you're looking to build muscle or you're looking to burn fat or lose weight or whatever it might be, this is gonna be a great workout, but you have to make sure that you're hitting your macros every day. That's probably the most important thing. And then you have to make sure that all your other training and all your other just lifestyle habits are built around your body type. And if you don't know what your body type is, there's three main body types. You got ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph. If you want to figure out which one you are and what type of diet and training is best for you, hit that link right below this video, right down in the description. It'll take you to my free body type quiz and I'll tell you everything that you need to know about your body type and how to achieve your fitness goals. So check that out. Um, but now let's get into the first exercise. So like I said, it's going to be five different exercises that we're going to be doing. And for each exercise, I'm not going to take you step by step through each set and every single rep. I'm just gonna show you the form of each exercise and then it's up to you to make sure that you're doing all the sets and all the reps. But one thing that will stay con consistent throughout is it's gonna be three sets of 12 reps for every single exercise. So let's get into the first one. And right here, I got a set of dumbbells because the first exercise is going to be Romanian deadlifts. And what you're gonna do here is first thing, uh, and this is gonna be just a great compound movement to start your back workout out. And compound basically means you're gonna be targeting multiple muscle groups. So you might feel a little bit more on your hamstrings or in your glutes. That's just because this is an exercise that really works the posterior chain of your body. So it's gonna be working a lot of the muscles on the backside. So what you're gonna do is you're going to spread your feet about shoulder width apart. And then from here, you're gonna put, I like to put the dumbbells out in front of my legs. You can put them out to the side if you want. I just find that it's a little more comfortable when I'm actually leaning forward and doing the deadlift to be in front of my body. But I like my toes slightly pointed outwards. From here, you're gonna stick your chest out, make sure that your back is straight, your butt's not sticking out, it's not curved under, it's straight. And then from there, you're going to drive your hips back. You're gonna bring this weight just below your knees and then you're going to bring it back up, squeeze through your glutes and back down. And so this is gonna be working your glutes, your hamstrings, and also make sure that your shoulders are rolled back because that rolling back of your shoulders is what's really going to emphasize the back engagement here. So it's gonna look just like this. And you can go as heavy as you can, as heavy as you want. If you wanna go light, that's totally fine. I recommend just doing whatever weight you can comfortably handle 12 reps, but also you wanna make sure that at the end of those 12 reps, you're nearing your failure point. You don't wanna do 12 when you could have done 20, and you also don't wanna go for 12 and you only get eight. Make sure that the weight that you're picking is around what it should be to end at around 12 reps. So exercise number one is gonna be the Romanian dumbbell deadlift and we'll move into exercise number two. Now, if you can't tell, exercise number two is gonna be a single arm dumbbell row because of the position that I'm already in, it's pretty clear. So what you're gonna do is get a bench. And honestly, if you don't have a bench, that's totally fine. You can even get a wall and you can just go like this. And this is totally fine. But if you do have a bench, I like the bench just because I like to put my knee on it. It just makes for a little bit better stabilization of your body. 
So what you're gonna do is get your knee, your hand, and then from here, you put your foot out. Some people like it out here. Some people like it back here. Personally, just, just find whatever's most comfortable for you. And then you're going to reach down, grab this weight. And now the biggest mistake that people make when they're doing single arm dumbbell rows is that they row this up and they row it up to their chest. And that is not what you wanna do because in order to work your lat the right way, you actually want your elbow to come back. So you wanna drive your elbow rather than bring it up you're gonna get too much bicep activation and not enough lat activation. So instead, forget about anything going on with your with actual bend in your elbow. You wanna focus on driving your upper arm backwards. And once you drive it backwards, you're not gonna be able to go as heavy and you're gonna feel a better squeeze in your lat muscle. So it's gonna look just like this. Here, driving it back. Here, driving it back, just like this. And so it might even seem like you're not bringing it up as high as you can because when you're doing it up to your chest, it looks like this and you're bringing it in the, the range is so much farther. But when you're bringing it back, you're gonna feel it a lot more with less range of motion. But this is still the full range of motion when you're doing it correctly. So it's gonna look just like this. So you're gonna, same thing here. You're gonna go set 12 reps. And then I didn't tell you how long to rest. We rest for a one minute for every single set. Repeat that two more times. So you're gonna go three sets of 12 again, and we'll move into the third exercise. So moving into the next exercise, it's going to be another row variation, but slightly different from the last one because with the just single arm dumbbell row, a lot of times people make the mistake of creating momentum simply because they're still so fresh or they wanna lift more weights or they just don't know any better. So this exercise I like to go into right after because it gets rid of that momentum and it really makes you super strict with your form. Therefore, you probably need to go a little lighter than you expect, but it's gonna be chest supported, supinated dumbbell rows. So what that means is we're gonna have our chest down against this pad and then supinated, all that means is that you're gonna take your wrists and you're gonna flip them that way. That's all it means. Your palms are gonna be facing up. You're gonna grab this weight. And then from here, you're going to simply roll your shoulders back as you row this weight up. So it's gonna look just like that. And so again, you're not focusing on bringing this weight up to your chest. You're focusing on your elbows going back and rowing this weight and targeting that lat as best as possible. So it's gonna look just like this. The range of motion is not gonna be as far as you think. Really focusing on that strict form. Like I said, it's gonna be a lot harder because you can't create any kind of momentum. So drive your elbows down and up. Down and up doesn't really make sense. Back and up would make sense. And that, even using the same weight that I just did single arm dumbbell rows on, that was probably five times as hard as the other ones simply because I have my chest against something and I have zero room for using, well, I don't have as much chance of using other muscle groups, which makes the exercise so strict and so concentrated on your lat muscle. So exercise number three, three sets of 12 for supinated chest supported dumbbell rows. So moving into the next exercise, we're going to be doing dumbbell lat pullovers. Now this is probably my second favorite back exercise because it's really good at creating that width, that uh, V taper look to your back, creating this, that sweep that some people like to call that. But um, I say second say favorite because my favorite is actually doing it on a cable, but today's back or dumbbell only. So we're gonna grab this dumbbell and obviously you're gonna have your back on a bench like this. And from here, what you're gonna do is I like to have uh, the bench just resting right below the, the middle of my head. That way my neck is supported and I'm not trying to like force myself to keep my neck up because when you do start going heavy and your, and your neck's not supported, it gets really straining on your neck. So here, and then the next thing is I like to get my hips up nice and level with my body. That way it's not dipping way down here. It's not way up at the top. And what I find is that just helps me get the best stretch in my lat. But from here, what you're gonna do is take this weight and also, first thing you wanna do is roll your shoulders back. You don't wanna be way with your shoulders pushed forward like this. Have them back 
And that way, when you do let this weight go down, you feel a better stretch in your lats. Get that full stretch. And then from there, you're going to drive your palms up into the air. You're not actually trying to pull down. You're trying to push your palms up in the air, away from your body, and then also stop right here. So you don't wanna bring the weight all the way back here. People think that this is a chest exercise. It can be if you bring it all the way up here and you're squeezing with your chest. This is, we're doing this for back, so we're gonna stop about right here and we're really gonna focus on that pulling motion with our elbows. So it's gonna be from there to there. And then this is gonna be the full motion. You're gonna get a nice, good, deep stretch at the bottom here. And then you're gonna focus on isolating as much as possible, overloading the muscle, and then going right back into the exercise before you actually bring it up. Because if you bring it up all the way here, now I'm resting my lats. But the second I bring it right here, all of a sudden I'm working my lats again. So full range of motion to keep tension on the muscle is gonna be from here to there. From here to there. Nice controlled movements. And so you're gonna go for sets of 12 here. Rest for a minute. Ugh. Repeat that three times. Don't hurt yourself getting up from the bench. And like I said, that's a great exercise for creating that sweep of the lat, which is why a lot of people like to do exercises that work on width for the back. So that's gonna be the fourth exercise. And the fifth and final exercise of the back workout is going to be a bent over double arm dumbbell row burnout. So we're gonna grab a little bit lighter weights here. So um, I'm just showing you guys this. I don't know what weights you're gonna use. I'm not even 100% sure off the top of my head right now what weights I would use, but I was using 40s just to show you the exercises, dropping down to 30s just as an example of drop weights for this because it's a burnout. And the whole focus of this last exercise is to completely fatigue your muscles because we've really just been focusing on hitting the muscle from so many different angles with so many different exercises and also trying to get volume in there. And now it's time to just completely gas the muscle so that you have nothing left in the tank and you can make sure that you got the most out of your workout. So I like to do these either with drop sets or supersets or just like this, a burnout. So you're gonna pick up the weights and then from here, it's just gonna be very similar to any other stand, like a bent over row that you've ever done. You're gonna be doing it with both arms. So uh, make sure that first thing, you're not going straight legged, bending over like this and rowing the weight. This is gonna cause your lower back to become hurt because the load is not on your legs. Don't do this. So what you wanna do is drop, drop your butt down. Make sure you got some bend in your legs and you're taking the, the most weight on your thighs here, not like this. Like this, injury. Like this, safe. So what you're gonna do, grab these weights, get a nice safe position from here. Same thing, you're gonna be taking your elbows and driving them back, not up. Driving them back, not up. So here, you're going to go boom, boom. Nice and controlled. You're not going like this. No bouncing like this, none of this shit. You're gonna be going nice and controlled, getting that contraction. Just like this. And you're gonna be going for as many reps as you can get. You're only gonna be doing one set of this. So make sure you're getting the most out of it. I want you to be going light enough weight to where you can probably do about 30 reps. So I'm not gonna sit here and completely fatigue myself because I'm filming more videos tonight and I also need to be able to talk to you. But you get the idea on that last exercise, you wanna go lighter so that you can do significantly more reps. But that doesn't mean that you go so light that you can do a bunch of reps and you're also not really burning yourself out. The whole point of this is to use a little bit lighter of weight to get more reps, to get more blood in the muscle, and get a better pump and just completely burn out the muscle. So make sure whatever weight you do use, it's difficult to get 20, 30 reps, but that you're still pushing yourself to complete failure. That last rep that you get with that, I want you to be basically going, Ugh. I want you to fail. Just fail 
Go until you fail. If you can get another rep, get another rep. After that, if you can get another rep, get another rep. Go until you cannot get another rep. That is failure and that is what we are going for. So that is the whole workout. If you like this workout, make sure you're saving it somewhere or sharing it with a friend or click the thumbs up button below so that it goes to your liked videos on your YouTube channel. And also make sure you're subscribing to my channel because I have videos like this coming out all the time and I'm building a squad here on YouTube, the hashtag notification squad if you're a part of it. Comment it down below in the comment section because y'all are the fam. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this workout. Kick my butt. I'll see you in the next one.